Hello and welcome. Today's video will be about the breakdown and reassembly of these two shadow bandits. I'm doing a body replacement on the one I have because my dogs got a hold of it and chewed the nose on it and then I tried fixing it with a heat gun and it just didn't work. I don't have the artistic ability uh, to use a heat gun very well so I ended up making it worse. So for this video I'm gonna go ahead and take apart these two shadow bandits. One of course is missing parts like the linkage to this side of this donor shadow bandit that I'm going to use the shell from and replace it with mine which there's the damage. I've never taken apart one of these toys, so this will be an interesting treat uh, for those of you that have never done it either. Uh, so hopefully this will be informative and uh, a successful body transplant. Okay, so um, let's get started. Also, after I changed the body onto uh, the new Shadow Bandit, I plan to try to fix up uh, the one that's missing parts. As it is, it has a, the clip for the canopy is broken. So I'm gonna try and replace it with the clip from the Shadow Parasite there that I've been using for parts. And uh, hopefully later on I'll find a linkage to it or make one and maybe find some wings if I if I can or maybe make some for it and uh, maybe post that on a different video later on. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start the process of breaking down these two toys. Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one quickly because uh, I'm just replacing the shell, the outside shell anyways, and doing a simple transplant of the insides uh, from one to the other. Um, I'm doing it this way so that way you have uh, several versions of how to break it down so you can be familiar with it once you start with your toy. So we'll do this part first, and then I'll go through a full breakdown of the donor uh, toy or shadow bandit and uh, go in more detail with that. So as you can see already, I'm doing uh, a mapping of each screw that I remove from the toy uh, because they're different sizes. And when I bought this uh, donor shadow bandit uh, from eBay, uh, I had an idea that somebody had already opened it up and uh, took parts from it since it was missing linkage. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and map it out. And then when I take apart my toy, I'm gonna map it out the same way and see which screws are not in the correct position uh, from the toy that I'm using as a donor. That way I can put the screws back in the correct way um, because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not in there correctly. <laughs> and also with this disassembly, I'm gonna find out uh, exactly what parts were taken and what I need to replace. It, it seems to work correctly. So I'm uh, thinking that they just took the linkage for some reason. So this is the canopy clip holder uh, that's been broken. I'm going to go ahead and replace that uh, later. I might do it on camera, but since it's a quick thing, I, I might do it off camera and, and uh, just have it on there when I disassemble the toy later on for a more in-depth review of it. Thank you. 
Okay, so this was a successful uh, body replacement. And uh, we'll go ahead and move on to a full breakdown and explanation about how the toy works. After removing the eight screws from underneath the toy, you can separate the bottom half of it by jiggling the handle, and it should come loose. Putting the bottom half of the toy aside, you can simply slide off the handle. This spring is for the canopy release. This spring is for the cowgirl release. This part I'm removing here is what pushes off the cargo from the magnet. There's a hole at the bottom which goes into this peg. This is the cargo magnet an arm. It won't release until you remove the trigger with sliding wedge attached to it. There's a spring underneath, which gives it resistance. This way, when you release the trigger, the arm with magnet will rise back into the toy. I'm going to go ahead and remove the two engines at the back end of the toy and put them aside. This part I just removed is the wing hinge to the left side of the toy. Since it doesn't have linkage connecting it to its rack, I'm just going to go ahead and put it aside. This is the canopy release lever with button. It's permanently attached to the frame. Let's put the whole assembly aside and take a look at the canopy clip hinge I just replaced. It may not be the same color, but it fits well. Let's take a look at this assembly and you can see the arm with magnet moves freely as well as the canopy release with button. Here I'm going to go ahead and remove the motor and let's see how all this works. The motor comes apart with the linkage for the cargo release with switch attached. I'll show you how it works. Nice. Moving the motor back and forth, I can see, or rather feel, that it doesn't have a spring in it, and it seems to reduce motion 
depending on which way you turn it, whether right or left. In addition, inside I can see three separate racks. One for each hinge to the wing and one for the input attached to the main springs. Wow, the main springs are on this uh, button. There's one main spring uh, that counteracts one way and then another one which counteracts the other way. So when you lock this button, it gives the input rack the energy to move forward. The motor reduces the motion and extends the racks apart, which brings up or brings down the wings. And then uh, when you release it, the mainspring that retains the tension back forces the input rack backwards, the motor reduces the motion again and brings, it pulls in the, uh, the two racks attached to the hinged wings. Wow, nice. Okay, now we've successfully disassembled this toy. Now I'm gonna clean up my workspace and figure out a procedure for reassembly. Okay, let's get back to work and put this toy together. Taking one of the main springs, attach it to the rear button in the back of the toy. Then attach it to the input rack, as shown here. The other main spring goes onto the inside frame where there's a hook. This part is a little tricky so take your time. While the main spring is hooked onto the frame, attach it to the other hook on the other side of that sliding button, and then place it within the grooves. Simply slide each rack for each wing hinge as far as it'll go. At this point, you can install the linkage 
to the cargo release. In addition, the motor has a hook on one side of it. Hook it to its spring and then twist it while simultaneously pushing it into place. In addition, it helps to push the rear button forward while giving the input rack a little bit of tension. That way, the motor will fall into place and interact with every rack. Next, let's put in the trigger with spring. Next, we'll install this cargo release wedge. Remember, the cargo release wedge has a hole where you slide it into the peg assigned for it. The springs go over them. After that, remember that the large spring goes on the cargo release wedge and the smaller spring goes on the canopy release lever with button. Taking the top half of the toy, I'm going to go ahead and put the whole assembly inside, leaving it just forward of the rear of the toy so I can install these engines back inside. They simply slide in. and then push back the whole assembly to complete the installation. At this point, it's good to make sure that each wing hinge is in place. And then place back the handle in its proper spot. Then to complete the assembly of the toy, simply slide the bottom half onto it and then let's go ahead and screw it down. Well, this concludes the disassembly and reassembly of the Shadow Bandit. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit notifications for any new videos that I may post in the future.